Welcome everyone. Today in Overcomer Church we continued uh, in the letter to the Philippian churches and Paul is explaining already where he sees a problem in the churches of Philippi. What he is addressing is that even though they have the right gospel and they keep to the right gospel, and that is unlike what we learned from uh, the Church of Galatia, where there was a false gospel coming up. Here in uh, Philippi, they seem to have a problem in the way they proclaim the gospel. He was specifically pointing out that some give the gospel in regards of uh, their love for Paul, as well as, of course, they want to be servants of the people and delivering it to the people as servants. But there are many in the church that uh, uh, proclaim the gospel for their own benefit. They want to be revered. They want to be worshipped. They want to be respected and, of course, also be served. But we always forget that as leaders in the church, we serve the people. It is not like they serve us. We can't abuse that position that we have and that understanding and knowledge that we convey to others. So we have to be very careful here how we behave when we have been given so much. And Paul is addressing that to a certain extent. He also helps us to understand what is really important in life. It is important where we are going. What hope do we have for a future? that is the life thereafter. Do we have any hope for it or not? And when we have that hope that we cling on to that, no matter what your circumstances are, you have always something to look forward to. You have to look at the positive side, the benefit we have received through the gospel, through the promise of eternal life with God, where everything will be so much better, despite what we are enduring or suffering at the moment. And that is what we need to cling on. That is what we need to focus on. And what also Paul says, I want to come to you to grow that in you, that faith. And also the joy in faith, he says. We should be very reflective on that word that Paul gives us, joy in faith. There is joy, there's real joy. Because if you think about heaven, there's only joy that has to come to our mind. We need to be so joyful to look forward to this wonderful time with God that we are already full of joy in faith. Amen. Hallelujah. May we remain full of joy in mm. faith indeed. So mm. much to learn. So much to learn in the Word of God. And if you would love to join us on Sundays, we meet every Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time online on Zoom. If you'd like to find out more, please drop us a line at overcomerchurch at gmx.net. It would be wonderful to have you. Also, prayer. Prayer is awesome. You know, prayer changes lives. If there's anything you'd love us to pray for, uh, stand with you in agreement with, about, please drop us a line at overcomerchurch at gmx.net. God bless you. At Overcomer Church, we consider ourselves as family-oriented, friendly neighborhood church who aims to demonstrate the love to and support for each other as Jesus asked us to do. We have a wide range of offers that help you to get to know us as well as to learn with us the ways of God and how to better implement them in our lives. From face-to-face -face meetings for those who are living in the wider area of Four Marks in Hampshire, to Sioux meetings where we study the Word of God, accessible for anyone around the globe. Do get in contact with us to join us on any of the activities we offer. We are looking forward to hearing from you. God bless you.